हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर शमशेर सिंह वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मा लर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द रिसर्च एंड अबाउट द यूज ऑफ जेब्रा फिश नाउ देर आर सो मैनी क्वेश्चन विच आर रिलेटेड टू जेब्रा फिश दैट मीन विच टाइप ऑफ फूड वी कैन प्रोवाइड टू जेब्रा फिश and why the zebra fish is preferred for the research now basically there are so many things that we basically prefer and use the zebra fish for the research purpose now whenever anybody want to think about the research it mean the research need both type of studies either they are experimental studies or either they are non experimental studies so basically in case of experimental studies what we look for we look for some species we look for some animals now it is beneficial that whenever we prefer a small animal with a small genomic content so that mean any animal with a small number of gene less number of gene can easy to study about that that's why from the old time you know that butterfly was preferred for the phenotypic characteristics and that's why after 1960 the zebra fish is commonly preferred nowadays for so many studies you know that zebra fish having a number of properties i will discuss today in this lecture that what are the different properties of the zebra fish what is the importance of the zebra fish why we prefer the zebra fish for the research purpose and how you maintain zebra fish in an experimental tank or in a normal tank and how zebra fish differ from a normal fish and how you will provide a different type of the Uh, you can say environmental exposure toward the zebra fish so that mean you keep continue to watch this video so that you can clear your concepts what is exactly zebra fish so you know that zebra fish which is a small animal with a body length of approximate 2 to 4.5 cm and body weight range about 400 to 600 mg which is very very less as compared to mice and rat and we prefer this zebra fish because this zebra fish is very easy to maintain in the life uh, in the experimental lab and this zebra fish is useful for number of experiments i will give you one of example that if anybody suffer from a heart attack you know that after heart attack there is a damage to the myocardial muscles and it is not easy to regenerate these muscles even by using some of the drugs we can protect our heart muscles we can protect that particular thing which is going on but nowadays the scientists they are using zebra fish for developing such type of molecule for developing such type of drugs which can be useful in humans in particular conditions like heart attack as well as in case of myocardial infarction because the zebra fish is having a good regeneration power of the heart so there are few organs you can say like blood like kidney like heart like eyes they are showing more similarities in term of pathological conditions in term of physiological conditions and in term of regeneration so that mean i will discuss with you that few of the questions are there in the mind of the student that what is exactly zebra fish so why you prefer zebra fish i will discuss in this lecture and what will be the tank capacity and how you maintain the zebra fish in your lab and which type of food you can provide to zebra fish and how you can raise larva that mean how you can increase the growth of larva in your lab so coming to this first slide that how you can see that this zebra fish is having a lot of advantage 
the first advantage is short reproductive cycle that mean if any species will be having a small reproductive cycle you can easily breed it you can easily maintain it and you can easily adopt or you can easily study the effect of drugs on this reproductive cycle because instead of you can say rodent like rat mice there this reproductive cycle is a number of days but it is only approximate 1 to 1.5 days in case of zebra fish the case of maintenance in large number in a small laboratory then less space is required if you will prefer this type of zebra fish in your lab zebra fish genome is fully sequenced so i will give a little bit more information about that that what is genome and what is about the genomic content of the zebra fish so i will tell you as per some of the genetic studies it has been seen that the zebra fish genome base pair the zebra fish genome base pair are approximately more than 1 million they are present in the body of the zebra fish and approximately more than 26000 genes are present which are responsible for the certain characters and these gene which are more than 26000 is having a similarity with the human genes so it means this type of the things when any species show similarity to humans through genetic content then it is very easy to study and to use this animal for the disorder where there is a role of genes so that's why nowadays for so many disorders like parkinson disease like epilepsy like peptic ulcer diabetes cardiac problem kidney related problem eyes related problem so that mean in this type of the disorder and disease this zebra fish noid is more prefers as compared to rodents now what will be the next the 70% of human genes have true orthologue in the zebra fish genome it mean the human genes approximately match 70% with the zebra fish gene but it is 84% in term of pathogenesis that mean the pathogenesis depends upon the gene suppose if i will say the pathogenesis of parkinson can match with the pathogenesis of zebra fish so in term of pathogenesis the gene which are involved for the pathogenesis are the similarity is 84% but in term of physiological condition the similarity is 70% zebra fish embryo are transparent now this is very important and which is not be effective and which is not possible in other animals because you can breed rodents mice rat guinea pig rabbit but if their embryo is not transparent you cannot easily you cannot easily analyze that what is the growth and how the organs are growing in case of zebra fish it is important that whenever you see the embryo of this zebra fish which is very small and which is visible to naked eye after 4 5 6 days and the transparent body is useful for the scientist for the researcher to see that how the organs are growing in the body of the zebra fish instead if it is not visible you keep the zebra fish larva under a normal microscope there is a no need that you should prefer a microscope which are fluorescent or which are having a high intensity you can prefer a normal microscope you keep a zebra fish larva in a petri dish and in the petri dish or on the slide you put some drops of the liquid and you keep the larva there and it is easily visible that how the digestive tract how the eyes how the heart how the kidneys they are growing in the body of the larva so simple genetic manipulation so that's why if the genomic content is less number of genes are less 
it is easy that you can study any hereditary disorder now other thing that regeneration power of the organ i have discussed with you that nowadays the scientists are working on few of the things like the kidney regeneration like the liver regeneration like the eyes retina regeneration and myocardial layer regeneration suppose if this will be possible in zebra fish if we will if we will find some of the molecular marker in the zebra fish then same marker can be applicable in the human and we can reduce the death rate in the human which are suffering from myocardial infarction and which are suffering from the cardiac attacks so this is useful so high throughput drug screening so basically you know that high throughput screening is required whenever we synthesize a new drug suppose you are synthesizing a new drug and you are going for its screening so that you can screen hit then you can screen lead molecule and you can then go for the further in vitro or in vivo analysis during the drug discovery so instead of these computer aided drug design softwares these zebra fish which are very cheap and which are having a small life cycle can be prefer for these type of the things high number of offspring is there you know that in case of rodent a mice and rat cannot deliver more than 12 pups but in case of zebra fish the number is in hundreds so one zebra fish can lay a hundreds of the eggs and i will discuss with you one more property of the zebra fish that why we prefer a zebra fish not the other fish which is available in the ponds aap usko kyun nahi prefer karte what is the benefit of zebra fish so benefit of zebra fish is that zebra fish can lay eggs during the night as well as day so night day cycle that zebra fish can produce egg that's why the zebra fish is important species instead of those species which are available in the ponds or in anywhere in the environment so it is very important that there is a no any interference of day night cycle in the life of the zebra fish which is very important external and rapid development so basically whenever we go for any drug discovery or organ development studies we know that if any uh, any species lays eggs outside the body then the eggs develop into a larva it is easy to analyze the developmental stage of any species so these are many of the importance that's why the rodents are nowadays less preferred or they are preferred in certain conditions but not at all so that's why this is important so i will discuss what will be that your this uh, capacity of your tank and how you will maintain the circulation system and what is the purpose suppose your capacity is 0.8 liter then it should contain one to two adult zebra fish because you should understand that whenever a fish age is above than one month it is considered as a adult zebra fish but instead instead in case of rodents if their age is above than 12 weeks as per cpcsa guidelines or as per so many other guidelines they are considered as a adult and they are considered whenever their body is may weight is nearly 180 g so this is the thing if your tank capacity is 1.1 liter then adult zebra fish will be 1 to 2 so that they are isolated well if the tank capacity is 1.4 1.8 2.8 liter you know that with increase in the tank capacity in case of 2.8 liter or 3 liter you can keep 28 to 30 zebra fish at a time so that you can do the group housing of the zebra fish similarly if you increase the tank capacity approximate 3.5 liter you can keep 35 zebra fish if here it is 6 8 9 liter you can 90 zebra fish and if it is 11 liter you can keep 110 zebra fish during experimental but not certain at all so in every condition you cannot keep in 12 liter or 15 liter 100 zebra fish because frequently in case of stock you can have must 
there would be around 500 or 1000 liter of the tank so that they can comfortably adapt their environment so what is food and how you provide nutrition to the zebra fish so basically you sh should know that the feed or the food which you, sh you are providing to zebra fish must be free from the pest because they are very you can say sensitive toward the infections so the second thing there should be no fungal growth and you should keep the zebra fish feed at a normal temperature it should be around 25 to 35 degree centigrade it should not be too high so that there will be a degradation of any of the nutrients which is present in the food of zebra fish then you keep it free from humidity and light it is necessary that you will keep it at a humid level that is normally should be there in the lab of zebra fish approximate 50 to 60 percent of humidity but it should protect it from the light so which type of diet you can give i have shown you here in table that you can prefer a micro pellet understand that micro pellets zebra fish cannot only take a large food molecule so it should be in the size of nano or micro so that it can easily be moved toward the from the mouth toward the GIT track of the zebra fish so what will happen if you will use a large particle size so we already seen that if you will use a large particle size sometime it causes a choking in the throat area of the zebra fish and the death rate can be increased so you should crush it well by using pestle mortar so you keep its food pellet size around micro or nano so micro pellets are used in the form of a dry powder the size should be 50 to 100 micrometer and that are required for the early and mid larva so it mean if you are doing uh, suppose breeding of the zebra fish and you are producing larva then the food which you are providing to larva their particle size should be around 50 micrometer the second thing micro pellet for the mid larva or juvenile for the little bit large fish its particle should be 100 to 200 micrometer suppose same micro pellet would be there but if your fish are adult then particle size of that particular food will be around 200 400 but less than 500 micrometer so what will be the range for the larva the larva food range should be approximate 50 200 micrometer and for the uv nile it should be around 100 to 200 micrometer and for the adult it is best if you keep it at 200 to 300 micrometer so this would be the food food particle size which you are providing to the zebra fish then how you can provide a food you can say some type of brine shrimp they are provided particularly shrimps are required in case if you are doing breeding so because they enhance the breeding of zebra fish these shrimps are available online you can proceed from anywhere so rotifies they are required for the larva and paramecium it is required for the larva juvenile and adult fish so dear friends i have discussed with you that which type of food what will be the size of food particle how you can use a zebra fish in experimental research so i think so this video will be very useful to all you like subscribe and watch the channel and in the coming time i will provide you more video related to research on zebra fish and rodents as well as i will provide you lot of matters on the gpad preparations so hope you will like and subscribe this channel you all are welcome thank you very much